Hey everybody, Wade Bloodgood here today on day four of 30 day vulnerability challenge with Wade and T. And today I just want to share with everybody a little bit about some stuff that I've been going through daily for <laughs> many, many years now. And um, I have some discs that were in my back that were degenerating and uh, basically just floored me. I can't get up and move around, having a lot of uh, just nerve spasms, half of my right leg is numb. Um, but I also had done a lot of meditation and a lot of healing work and I've actually healed up some of these discs that were in my back that were supposedly not supposed to be healed but there was one in particular one that I didn't have any effect on and at this point I have two vertebrae that have been touching for um, probably at least about a year so there is no disc it's just bone on bone rubbing so every time I move in any direction or walk or do anything your spine is constantly flexing around and uh, unfortunately for me that uh, those bones rubbing together don't always feel good and my back is always tight and I'm just having a lot of issues and so I actually spend a lot of my day um, just meditating and focusing on healing and focusing on the things that I need to do to try to take care of myself and uh, just try to keep my state of mind in a, in a decent spot because when I'm dealing with all this pain all the time it's just it, it just takes all my mental energy to maintain like happiness and um, just to keep feel good thoughts and to know that I can get better and all of these things but uh, I definitely uh, get frustrated very easily and um, just learning to try to deal with that better and try to deal with um, not being so frustrated because uh, I have all this physical pain inside you know it's like I just want to deal with things so much better but it's like I got to concentrate a lot to maintain the mental strength when you have all this pain going on. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can understand what I'm talking about because I know there's a lot of people out there that are, you know, suffering from pain from a lot of different reasons, but um, mine's just a spinal thing right now. And uh, so I'm actually thinking about going in and looking into uh, getting the proper insurance so I can get the back surgery right actually a disc replacement so they'll take those two vertebrae and clean them all up because I got some bone spurs and calcium buildups in that area too that's starting to press on nerves so they'll clean all that up and they'll actually put in these two metal plates and then they put this ball in the middle there and it's just pretty much resembles your natural um, discs and it's supposed to be like the new top of the line technology that they can do for your spine for these things instead of in the old days they used to just kind of bolt you together in those areas and uh, hope for the best and most people would have to get you know one two three four back surgeries and still be suffering from a lot of problems so I've actually kind of taken the more natural route of allowing myself to heal naturally in uh, in my body and so um, I've just had to deal with a lot of pain and I've been doing that naturally too. I haven't been taking any uh, painkillers or anything. I don't take any prescription drugs whatsoever. Um, now in the past I definitely have lubed myself up on prescription drugs and drank a lot of alcohol and done a lot of things to try to um, deal with my pain but now I'm I'm just in a very bare minimum stage of, of uh, taking a uh, certain medications to uh, get myself better so uh, like I've been using CBD oil um, this syrup and it's good for pain and uh, I also partake in medical marijuana um, and that's been really doing a lot of good for me too I mean it like helps relax my body and the CBD oil I'm finding for myself has really been very effective which uh, that doesn't really do anything like in your head or anything but like literally when I take the CBD oil within an hour my body is can relax and everything is very relaxed enough where I'm not suffering from any pain 
and uh, that roughly lasts for about two to three hours and then I have to take another teaspoon of syrup um, but that doesn't have any THC in it or anything it's just actually made from hemp it's like a uh, hundred milligrams and uh, so anybody that has like back pains and stuff like that I'd highly recommend you know um, trying that as an alternative of something that you can use that's natural on your body um, it's not considered a drug or anything like that so uh, it's a heck of a lot better than drinking alcohol or taking prescription drugs. Um, I know some people that are really hurting badly from, you know, MS and all of that stuff. And, you know, they're on a different level than I am, of course. Uh, but um, I'm always, like, looking for ways for us to try to heal ourselves in some more natural uh, medicines that will lead us to a place where we can feel a lot better without um, adding so much more toxins to our body to to reach that potential. I think that there's a lot of natural remedies out there to cure us or to even find us a state of comfortability where we can have a life where we're content enough to be able to manage day by day and do what we need to do to, to get the job done and live this life. So uh, I just wanted to share that with you guys a lot. You know, I've kind of been beating myself up a little bit because when my back's been hurting so bad, um, sometimes I'm not able to get up and do exactly what I want to do. And uh, that frustrates me because I feel like, you know, I'm at my age, I have so much more life to go. And uh, I'm a vis very physical person, but this really limits that. And I, I, I want to be able to fix this situation. And, and also dealing with frustrations, kind of like, um, it takes a lot out of me to just stay in meditative mode and um, to stay in a peace, peaceful place of healing where my body isn't really in any pain. But when I got to get up and move around, then I'm dealing with a different situation and sometimes uh, going out into the world or dealing with people that are within my life I definitely can be frustrated or come across as if I'm upset about things when I'm not upset about anything it's just I'm doing all I can to uh, I guess what you'd say grin and bear it you know but maybe I'm having a hard time grinning <laughs> and I'm just doing the best bearing it so uh, but anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. You know, I understand that being in pain is not an easy deal for anybody and that uh, it just takes a lot out of you mentally, not just physically. So for people that are dealing with people that are in a lot of pain, just try to understand that. If you do, if you do not understand why sometimes they are the way they are, they're just sometimes we're out here just doing our best with our physical pain and it's, it takes every mental bit of our power to maintain composure and to to even stay positive and for most of us we're not even positive we're just so miserable we, we, we bitch within our pain as well so but for the people that are paying attention and want to do better and want to heal their bodies I mean the best thing we can do is stay positive is what I've realized um, I've healed up a lot of things in my life through just positive thought positive affirmation doing a lot of mind exercises and so the best I could say is you know some things maybe we won't be able to completely cure um, but we can definitely get ourselves to the highest level of of being able to do what we can and still have a high quality of life within our mind because if we allow the negativity to overtake our mind and our life then what are we living for? I mean it's just a miserable physical and mental uh, existence until you have to go you know and I think I've lived in that that for a long time as well and, and if you know during these periods of time I think when I was on a lot of other chemicals, um, you know, pills and other drugs, and I was still dealing with back pain and stuff like this, that I did have a lot of suicidal thoughts and I did have a lot of negative feelings towards myself that I think was just a result of just all the tox toxins and the toxic way I was living. But not only that, the major part was my toxic thinking was a big problem and that was getting in the way of a lot of great things that were to come in my life. and. It's actually the negative thinking is what's created a whole, oh, pretty much all the problems that I've created for myself in my life. And uh, so it's very, very important for me to heal up my mind and to heal up my body with being positive, you know, seeing the brighter th belief of things and knowing that, you know, I can heal myself to uh, a certain extent and, and it's, it's my my position to, to keep that healing in place by maintaining a certain level and a certain perspective with an attitude and a positive thought pattern. So that's what I've been doing for myself. But the truth is I'm also reaching out and, 
going to look into getting this surgery and uh, looking forward to the outcomes of the future of that because I, I've got so much to give and I want to be more active because I want to get back into the gym and I want to start running and I want to do a lot of things that I'm able to do right now. It's just uh, even hard to pick up the kid at the house, you know, or uh, even pick up my dog and carry him if we're out uh, walking on a trail or anything like that. So uh, I'm just going to keep pressing forward and keep doing what I got to do daily to maintain the positive attitude, keep the meditation up, keep the healing thoughts up, and then look into these other alternatives of things I can do to fix the situation that I'm in. And uh, if you feel hopeless out there, you know, I just, I, I say the same thing. Try to find a positive support group that you can express what you're going through and then express that you're looking for all the methods that are out there that you can find to try to get yourself better, you know. And uh, for me, what I found is I had to actually believe in the methods that I'm using too. So like positive thought works for me pretty well because I really believe in the power of it. And so I really do reap the benefits of what that, that does for me. And I, I don't spend a lot of time on anything uh, uh, negative outside of myself. Like I don't really tune into the politics and the news and you know, I pretty much don't see the friends that post the same stuff every day that kind of leads down the negative path that, and you can even see it playing out in their lives. I just tuned it out. So, uh, but uh, I'm, I'm doing the best I can and I'm gonna keep up the good work and I'm, I'm, I'm proud of everybody out there that's doing their best. And I, I know that there's days and times that it isn't easy, but you know, just hold on and just know that uh, these are just moments and they all come in waves and flows. I'm sure we all know this already. So it's not the end of the world. It's going to be another day. And, you know, sometimes it's just an hour later when you're feeling a whole lot better than you were an hour before. So, uh, you know, I love all of you guys and I'm praying healing thoughts for all you guys and sending light out there to all of you that are uh, needing to heal in, in all the different ways that we need to be healed. So, um, Again, I just want to thank Tiffany for bringing this challenge to me. I actually was kind of lagging a little bit today and wasn't sure what I was going to speak about, but uh, this is something that I'm dealing with every day in my life right now, and until I actually get that surgery or I can keep putting in the mental work that, that would rejuvenate my spine in this area, um, this is something that I'm just dealing with every day. So I just want to thank you for having this vulnerability challenge with me. and. Uh, allowing me to be able to share some of this with some people because um, there's definitely people in my life that might not understand when I maybe don't have the best attitude that uh, th this is what I'm dealing with and I, I, I've been trying to do so good but I can see so many times when my back was really the problem but I was responding to people with a frustrated attitude towards them and kind of just not even being the person I want to be, you know, and uh, I apologize to the people that I've, I'm doing that to and that I've done that to in the past. Uh, so uh, hopefully that brings a little bit more understanding on me in that area. So anyway, I thank you guys and uh, just have a great day. The sun is shining here today. There's blue skies out here in Oregon and I'm just loving the sun. I need the sun badly. So I'm just thankful for it today, man, so much. But I love y'all and uh, we'll see you again tomorrow for day five of the vulnerability challenge. Take care.